When Amanda was in the hospital, Steve would treat her like a 12-year-old instead of a 31-year-old woman. He went out and bought her a little pink strawberry shortcake blanket. To me, that's a little strange. My dad treats my sister like a little girl when she's in the hospital. He just babies her. Don't make her hospital visit more comfortable so that she keeps going back. Don't bring her ice cream. Don't make it like it's a day spa. I'm just disgusted by it, truthfully. I think my dad needs to be a lot tougher on my sister and not even visit her in the hospital anymore. Now, I would have loved to have had her out here 20 minutes ago. But do you understand why I, I, I haven't called her out here yet? Mm -hmm. Because there's no point in me talking to her if I've got you lurking in the background saying, I got you, baby. If that's your position, I can't help you. I have to send you guys home because I think you are what's making it able for her to continue to kill herself. It's her choice, not yours. She's doing it, not you. She owns it, you don't but you're her fail safe, you're her exit ramp. When she is there and she's drinking, you don't even realize that she's drunk. Half of the time that you think that she's sober. You can't she's trust yourself is what she's saying. You've become blind to it. This is TJ, he's here from, from Origins. And uh, they flew in here today from Padre Island. It's Origins Behavioral Healthcare. It's the nation's, in my opinion, the nation's leading dual diagnosis treatment center. And I, I am, prepared to offer that. But TJ, there's no point in doing that if, if because look, there's a first week letter that comes out of treatment, right? Husband, mom, dad, you gotta come get me. This place is worse than the rest of the world. There's more drugs and alcohol here than there is on the street. I can write the letter, you should just print them out. They write the same letter, and one thing that you can't have is a family that's going to buy into that and come rescue. And, and that's what happens when the family's not aligned. But you're going to get that letter, and you're going to believe it. No, I won't. Yes, you will. You've been so <clears throat> oblivious to everything that's been going on, Steve. When we, uh, Carrie and Stephen, our son, for months, months, we told you Amanda was doing drugs. No, she's not. No, she's not. For months, we told her she was doing drugs. She tested positive for heroin in the hospital when, that, when she went into cardiac arrest. You, you forget the contrast because for years from like, what, 17 to 25 or whatever, she was very successful, right? She was out, she was modeling, she was traveling, she was doing great things for that period of time, right? And compare that to now. Look at the difference. It's not even the same person. And maybe it was subtle, maybe you didn't know it at the time, but it's pretty dramatic, don't you think? Mm -hmm. That's the reason I know I came to bear my soul to try to help Manda. <clears throat> okay, but look at the house, look at how you're allowing your child to live. He, that is not okay. He doesn't see it as a problem. He just told me that he doesn't understand how his house and the living conditions, how that ha what that has to do with my sister and her. I mean, do problem. you really not think that this is a problem? I think that it needs to be cleaned up. It is a problem, but what I was trying to tell Carrie is that if every alcoholic in the world, all they needed was a clean place and they wouldn't drink, that- That's not the point. This is pathological. This is pathological. If you believe this is pathological, stand up. Just a quick focus group, straw poll. I, I understand that. And I agree with you. Well, then stop defending it. I'm not defending necessarily. I'm just clarifying like I tried to do before, but I won't do it anymore. How can we expect her to stop drinking in that environment when it makes me want to drink? It's disgusting and it's miserable. Do you think she wants to get clean and sober living in that environment? She has no job. She has no, she has a, she has a high school education at a minimum. She has <clears throat> nothing to live for other than alcohol at this point. Do you, would you want to get clean and sober if you were living in that environment? If you're not 100% willing, I would rather excuse you and do this without you. I'm 100% willing. I, I wouldn't be here otherwise. 